Good morning, everybody. Wow, chalk and cheese from yesterday, isn't it? Hey. Eh? Okay, this is a really nice day for me today. Our brand new 8 kilowatt Deer Inverter. I was just joking, people. Let's go inside and have a look at it. I got it on the chair over there so we can have a look at the back and the bottom of it. We'll actually, uh, I've just got to turn some lights on in here for you. And we'll actually look at the uh, front of it when it's on the wall. But I thought this is a perfect time to have a look at the back of the unit. Now this has got fans here that push up through the cooling fins and then it's got that's the mounting plate there and then it's got another chunk and radiator there uh, the bottom of the unit as you can see now it's got all these inlets and they're all labeled you got you got grid load generator now this has got a grid connection and a granite generator connection in it uh, most this is, this is a true hybrid inverter and right there is where the Wi-Fi dongle goes right there so let's go down here so you can read that sorry it's upside down and then it's got all the solar inlets okay now this is I think this is IP67 rated um, and that's a, a really high rating for, for a uh, inverter but you can see this is very industrial it's 8 kilowatts remember um, so we're not going to be using the grid port I also like the fact that they've got stoppers in there already so any ports I don't use I don't have to perforate um, same as the, the, the uh, solar connections now this has got two MPPT controllers in it each controller can take two strings to a maximum of 10,400 watts okay and I've got 10,000 watts so this is going to be pretty well matched to, to my situation it's got COM1, COM2, COM3 when I get it mounted on the wall but there, that's some chunky heat sinks there that's some big heat sinks there. Um, hang on, let me get a tape measure. All right, that's a four inch heat sink. From the base of the heat sink to the top of the fin is four inches. All right, so that's how that's getting mounted in there on the wall. Now, we don't have a mains cable, which is this one here. Uh, so nothing interferes from there back. That's all really, really good. Um, we've got the on-off inverter switch there. We've got the solar on-off switch there. Ziggy asked me a good question. She said, Chris, she said, why would there need to be a locking mechanism on that switch? And I just told her to write that letter and ask Western Power that question. Um, anyway, there it is, people. It's going to be a while before it's up and running um, because we're waiting on electricians. If you're subscribed, please ring the bell. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and ring the bell and also comment. You know, any comment will do, uh, emoji, anything will do, and and uh, either thumbs my video up at some or thumbs it down. It really helps my channel. All right, keep safe, everyone. Bye.